Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to execute buy and sell orders on the MetaTrader 5 mobile trading platform. So if you have watched our last video in this playlist, you would have saw that we instructed you on or walked you through the process of how to connect to either a live trading account or a demo trading account on AMPS Global's futures trading servers. So this video will be showing you how to execute future trading orders. Now, this doesn't necessarily apply to future trading only the, you know, the technicality behind it pretty much remains the exact same. Either way, I just wanted to mention that we are connected to future trading servers. Now, if you did follow our last guide on how to connect to these servers, you will probably notice that you'll be provided with a bunch of continuous contracts. As we can see here, I'm hovering over it. Here is a continuous contract for the E-mini SMP. Here we have one, you know, there's for gold, for Euro US dollar, for the, the NASDAQ here. Now, the only problem with these is you can't actually trade off them and you'll notice they're grayed out. Now, I did open up an example of a tradable contract. Here we have on the bottom, the E-mini S&P 500 of September 2019. You can see the letters here are they're a black font and they're bolded instead of being grayed out. That represents that they're tradable. So whether you're trading Forex or futures, just know that if you do have a contract listed on your quote board here and it's grayed out or you have a chart open for it, you won't actually be able to trade off of it. And again, you can open charts for these, but you just can't place orders for them. So to avoid this, we can click on the plus button in the top right hand corner and start to search for a symbol that we want to trade. For example, I could type in MES here. We'll see the first contract available is the micro e mini s p 500 again it's that at symbol so it's a continuous contract this is not tradable so we can scroll down just a bit you'll see there's an option for the september or excuse me december 2019 contract we can go ahead and click on that it's disappeared so we know it's now added and as you can see down at the bottom there we now have the contract available so from here, there's a couple different ways on how to execute orders on the mobile version of MetaTrader 5. We can click on it with just a simple tap, and you'll see we have a couple different options here. So of course, the most prevalent option is new order. Simply click on that. Here we have your order types at the top. So I believe in exchange execution is pretty much just a market order. Other than that, here we have buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop, and then we have both buy stop limits and sell stop limits. As you can see with exchange execution, it's pretty much just going to execute at the market price. With a limit order, for example, we can actually type in the market price there. And we can increase with the plus or minus buttons as needed. Or we can manually type in here the price of what which we want to place the order at. You have the duration, so you have good to cancel or a today order. And then you can see um, the order flags as well, such as return, filler, kill, or immediate or cancel. Now, I'm not going to place an order just yet. I'd like to go through the other options or the other methods of placing trades as well. So if we click on the back button and head up to the top left hand corner, we can access our main menu. You can use this at the bottom of the page as well, but just so you have an exact um, you know, guideline here with um, the names next to the little buttons, I suggest going through the top left. So if you open up a chart, you'll see here it will open up with whatever contract you last clicked on the quote board. Here we have the E-mini S&P 500 again. Now if you'd like to, you can place an order through your chart as well by clicking on that plus button in the top right hand corner. Again, this is pretty much exactly the same thing as we just saw. Enter in your order here, or the order type, choose a price, the fill policy, the order duration, and then click on buy or sell. It's really that simple. You can also go to the trade tab here and execute your orders through this way. This is also where you'll monitor your account balances, margins, all the positions you currently have. Again, simply hit that plus button in the top right hand corner. 
it should be associated with the last traded contract. I believe if you click this dollar symbol in the top right, yes, you can. You can also switch the contract here as well. Now, I'd also like to show you before I actually execute an order, if we go back to the quote board, hover over a contract and long press and, and tap there or and hold, there's also the option for depth of market. This is another way you can place your orders. This will give you the market depth, at least for futures trading orders. You can see the market depth on the left hand side there, the volume. You can see the price in the middle and then you can place your orders. And this is actually used for one click trading. If you want to instantly execute orders, you will have to accept this terms of agreement first because it is possible to accidentally place an order. At the end of the day, the risk is on you. But just keep in mind, if you do tap one of these up or down arrows on the right hand side, the order should instantly execute. Just to show you an example, if I click on this price right here, um, 3140 with the up arrow on the right hand side, you can instantly see I just bought a buy stop with the quantity of one. I can do with something down here at 3139. You can see I click the left arrow, the red arrow down, and it put me a sell limit. So your blues are your buys, of course, the red is the sells. And then depending on where you click on the market, it'll either be a buy or a limit or a sell stop or sell limit or buy stop. You can adjust the quantity at the top here. You see I'm moving over my cursor right here. And then if you want to do like a bracket order, um, stop loss or take profit, you can adjust those in the top left or top right accordingly. Let's go back to the normal order entry window here. Excuse me. Um, so if we go to the E-mini S&P 500, for example, just to show you what it looks like in real time placing an order, we can click on new order here. I'm gonna do it simple. I'm just gonna do a standard market order with a quantity of two. Maybe I'll put a take profit of one on there. So one tick away, click on, let's click on buy. And it's that simple. Now, if you saw, and I believe because I had a position before, it probably actually just technically flattened me out there. But you can monitor your positions within this tab here. Let's just place one more for the MES new order. Let's do a standard market order, a sell with a quantity of two. All right, it's done. And yes, now as you can see, the trade tab displays my order correctly. I was flat now and then I just went in with a sell um, market order of two. And it's even quite nice. The aesthetics of this page actually change. You could see because I'm short, the top portion of the app actually changes from red to blue, um, depending on well for one, whether you're short or long and two, as you can see, I'm actually negative now in profit. So um, or losses, I should say. So depending on your PL, it'll actually display a different color here, which is a quite nice just little touch that's um, not necessary but would definitely help you out a lot at first glance so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video just a couple different ways on how to execute orders through the mobile edition of metatrader 5. if you do have any questions please head over to our community forum it'll be linked down in the description below you can also ask any questions you may have on the comment section down below as well if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more MetaTrader 5, MetaTrader 5 mobile content, trading tips, podcasts, and much more. As always, thanks for watching.